Hey guys, this is that review. Today we'll be taking a look at another case from Ballistic. This is the SG case, and this is basically Ballistic's take on the Otterbox commuter case. As you guys know, this is the Ballistic Hardcore or HC, and this is resembling of the Defender. So they decided to make a little bit of a lighter style case, which still offers great protection. And so basically this is their commuter style case. So, as you can see, this has three layers of advanced drop protection and has reinforced corners and it provides access to all controls and ports. And once again, this is from Ballistic and you can check them out at www.goballisticcase.com and this product does retail for $34.95 and it comes in two color combinations. It comes in black and red, which is the one we have right here, and it also comes in black and black. So, this is a two-piece case which offers three layers of protection and we'll take a look at those right now so first of all you have the back polycarbonate plate which has the TPU, uh, TPU material molded right onto it so these are two layers basically you have the TPU on the back and then you have the hard plastic um, all around the sides and then to reinforce the TPU itself so the TPU material is very soft um, it is a little bit rubbery, so it does provide some nice grip on it, as you can see with these little dimples. And you do have the Ballistic logo right down there. The camera and flash is soft, it's sort of velvety. You can actually push this down, it's a little bit foamy. And what's good about that is that this actually rests on top of the iPhone, and it covers both the camera and the flash. And because of that separation right down there, it provides a nice clean photograph without washing out. The third layer that we have is the silicone layer and what's most notable about this are these reinforced corners as you can see they actually stick out and they have a B um, embossed right on them for ballistic and this is just a soft silicone layer and then you actually have a little frame here that allows you to pop this on top and we'll do that just now. So basically it's a very soft silicone layer, you pop that right on top, you have access to your buttons and everything and then you just take this and this is similar to the casemate hybrid tough case where you would slide it on one side you gotta match up the buttons as you can see right here and then you just snap it into place and you're good to go so if you take a look at the whole case itself it does offer a great amount of protection but first of all let's take a look at the ports and cutouts at the bottom you do have one large cutout for the 30 pin dock connector I've had no trouble fitting all my uh, third party cables in there and you do have separate cutouts for your microphone and speaker I really like that they um, they made these little silicone inserts right here because it makes this little flap up here not as loose as some other cases if they don't add this and obviously it's going to be very loose and the prime example is the casemate hybrid tough case so I'm glad they chose to do that on the left hand side you have access to your volume up and down that's fine very responsive the silicone is very thin there so it's not hard to press at all and then you do have space for your vibrate it's enough space to get in there with your finger you also have those reinforced corners like I said all around and as you can see they actually protrude out of the case a little bit which is always great because if you do drop this it'll hit those corners first and these are pretty thick silicone right here so at the top you do have a large cutout for the headphone jack and for your secondary microphone. I've had no trouble using any microphone, uh, sorry, any headphones in there except some DJ style ones. And then you do have your power button right here which is very responsive as well because it is thin silicone. So protection wise this case will offer about the same amount of protection as a commuter case. Basically what they've done is they, they've scaled down this case into a more usable daily package. So instead of having these four layers of protection they've actually made it a little bit smaller so you, you still get great protection without having all that bulk. So this case does manage to keep a little bit of the iPhone slim form factor. It's not the slimmest case but it's definitely not as thick as this HC. So I'm really glad that they, they went with that direction of trying to make a slimmer case and obviously an option for people that don't need this much protection but still want good protection on their phone. So you do get a nice lay on the table design as you can see all around. It's not the largest one but there is still some so when you place your iPhone down it's not rubbing up against the table. Now like I said that TPU on the back offers great grip 
and then that in combination with the silicone and the plastic offers absolutely great protection. So with $34.99, I think the price is a little bit high for this case. I think they should drop it down by about $5 because it doesn't come with any included extras. You can find this at AT&T stores or at their website, www.goballisticcase.com. So overall, I definitely recommend this case because it does offer great protection while keeping a slimmer form factor than cases such as this or the OtterBox Defender. So if you're out on the market for a case that's going to protect your phone very well and it's going to keep a slimmer form factor than most, then definitely check out this case over at www.goballisticcase.com. And before I go, I'd like to thank Max over there for sending out this case and also the HC4 review. Um, other than that, thanks a lot for watching, guys. And remember to check us out over at www.buzzgadgets.com. Stay tuned for more, guys. Cheers.